So James was drunk? Well, he got a little out of hand, yeah. He must really be taking this hard. Well, you know how he feels about Maggie. I, you're sure that she's gone? That's what the note said, yes. She wanted to go away and have some time alone. <sighs> she's been through so much lately. She sure has. First Jessica, then that whole ordeal with Sheila. Strange, though, she didn't come and talk to me or to you. Yeah, it is peculiar. I'm going to call James. You know, maybe she left like that just because she didn't want us to try and talk her out of it. Maybe. Hopefully, James will know something about it. He's probably still sleeping off his hangover. He probably is. No answer? No. Silly question, because this is my bedroom. It's your bedroom. Mm -hmm. What happened? You, you had a rough night. Agent Scott. <laughs> yes, entirely too much. You were in no condition to go home. <coughs> so I spent the night here in your bed? Mm-hmm. Just like a baby. She let it. Don't tell me that we... Love. Michael, you've got to find a way to believe me. Believe you? Well, that implies trust. And I don't think you know the meaning of the word. Look, the last thing I ever wanted to do was hurt you. Yeah, well, you did a hell of a job. You know what? I had no idea that Brooke was going to propose to me. Well, it didn't take you long to say yes. You know what? You have every right to be angry at me. You know what? I am so much more than angry. So much more. Try hurt. Disillusioned. Maybe crushed. I thought you knew how I felt about you. And I thought that you felt the same way. Well, I do. I care for you so much. Just not as much as Brooke. All right. Now you're starting to blow this thing way out of proportion. Really? Really? I'm blowing this out of proportion? My boyfriend, the man I'm living with, accepts a wedding proposal from another woman, and I'm blowing this out of proportion. You know what? I don't even know what I'm doing here, because seeing you is making this so much worse. We're going to need four more of those velvet gowns in black. Where to? One goes to Paris. Madame Lacoste? Mm-hmm. One stays in L.A. for Streisand, and the other one goes to Japan for Mrs. Ito. And the last one? The White House. Hillary, huh? Mm-hmm. You got it. All right, well, that takes care of the order, then. I'll see you at the meeting. Rich. Is this the way it's going to be? Polite tension, one-word answers. She's taking care of business. It's really gotten to, hasn't it? What? My proposal to Grant. Like I said before, it's laughable. It's not going to work, Brooke. Getting a stooge like Grant to try and get to me. In fact, it's kind of an insult that you'd even think I'd fall for it. Then why are you so upset? I'm not. 
I'll bet Taylor is. Well, for your information, my fiance and I went to the private dining room last night. We talked about this ludicrous proposal of yours. Taylor even offered to give back my engagement ring. She did? Yeah. So what did you do? Did you take it back? Tell me, Grant, how could you do this? How could you do this to me? I don't want you to listen to me. Just because Brooke proposed to me, that doesn't mean there's going to be a wedding. Well, that's usually what happens. These are very unusual circumstances. Hmm. Tell me about it. Would you do me a favor and just hang in there? Hang in there? Why, so I could waste a few more months of my life? Maybe put myself through just a little bit more pain? No, <laughs> no, thank you. I think you've taken advantage of me just enough. Taken advantage? How have I taken advantage of you? You stood in front of the entire fashion world, Grant. In front of my friends, in front of my colleagues, and you accepted a wedding proposal from Brooke. You made a complete fool out of me. You know there's a lot more to this situation. Yeah, you're damn right I know, else I'd be on the first plane out of here. But if you think that I'm gonna put up shh, with any shh, more... Shh, shh, shh. Listen, I promise you, I'm gonna make this up to you. How? Maybe slipping away on your honeymoon or, um, secret rendezvous at my place? Well, that's really not a bad idea. I'm serious. I have to put up with this. You and Brooke. Both together, fashion's newest super couple. This is a temporary <coughs> thing. Trust me. Wait, don't even think of touching me. All right. Then I'm going to ask you again. Be patient. Now, can we talk about this later? I have a meeting. Should I, we... We didn't have sex, did we? No. No, we didn't make love. I have no clothes on. Why do I have no clothes on? You were inebriated. I, I thought a shower might help sober you up. I took a shower. Well, not by yourself. Oh, come on. You, you couldn't even stand up. I needed to help you. I don't remember any of this. No, apparently not. I'm so sorry. I am so terribly, don't terribly sorry. Don't apologize, Well, I show up on your doorstep inebriated. I have to apologize. It wasn't like that, okay? We, we had a lovely time. I'm sure I wasn't the best company. You were delightful. Yes. Ranting and raving, probably. And you weren't stupor. ranting or raving, okay? We, we just talked. For, for most of the night. About what? Anything that came to mind. I even got you to laugh. Really? Yes, that's right. You enjoyed yourself, James. 
I'm not surprised. And you're sure that we didn't? M maybe a kiss or two. What? It, it was harmless. Harmless? How can it be har I'm your therapist. It's not well, harmless. I, well, you're also a man. You were in pain. Maggie left you. Yes, but you must surely understand that if you and I... I cannot continue I, 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 I'm well aware of that. So, so, so please, would you just relax? Okay? Don't make such a big deal out of this. I, last night was wonderful. I, I'm, I'm going to remember it the rest of my life. But you're helping me. I'm, you're, you're helping me get... Get stronger, get better, healthier. That, that's all because of you. So what happened last night between us, nobody has to know about, okay? It, it can be our, our secret. And I promise you, I, I really, I, I promise you nothing happened. We did not have sex. We didn't. I have to go now. Thank you very much for taking care of me. James. I just want to give you everything that you've given me. Any idea what this meeting is about? You know, I don't have a clue. Well, Brooke's been so full of so many surprises lately. I'm sure we can expect a few today. She certainly has kept everybody on their toes lately. Thank you. You mean her engagement to Grant? Mom, you should be thrilled. Brooke's finally met a guy who she's going to marry whose last name isn't Forrester. Well, she certainly isn't marrying a man she's in love with. Well, what other possible reason would she have? Your brother. Ridge. Your mother doesn't believe that Brooke has any intention of marrying Grant. You're saying that this is all a ruse? It's a desperate attempt by a desperate woman, and it's a big mistake. I don't know, Mother. Well, of course that's what it is. She's trying to show Ridge how ridiculous it was for him to ask Taylor to marry him. Like a game of chicken. Exactly. But he isn't going to fall for it. I'm going to make sure he doesn't. Did you take back your engagement ring from Taylor? What do you think? You're still committed to her? That's right. Just like I'm committed to Grant. Hardly. I'm actually going to marry Taylor. And Grant and me? I'm just trying to get even, Logan. You underestimate me, Ridge. No, Brooke, that's one thing I've never done with you. Hmm. I'm certainly glad to hear that. It's not going to change things, though. What would it take to do that? Believe it or not, I'm actually content with my life. Right. You, on the other hand, you're kidding yourself. If you believe that anyone's going to think that you're actually going to go through with this. What, marrying Grant? It's a joke. That's funny. That's the way I feel about you and Taylor. No way it's going to happen. You're so sure. Positive. Ridge, I am marrying Grant. A man you don't even love? I'm sorry, but this whole thing is so lame, so transparent. I mean, you really take the cake, Logan. You can laugh all you want. We're talking about the rest of our lives. And that is no laughing matter. Let's see you at the meeting. Hey, hey. Mike. <laughs> 
You alone? Yes, come on in. Yeah, I just thought I'd swing by, check on my favorite lady, see how you're doing. Let's <laughs> see how I'm doing. Well, let me tell you how I'm doing. <laughs> Things could not be more perfect. Mm. <laughs> What's going on? Sounds like you hit the jackpot, Sheila. Let me tell you, last night was the greatest night of my life. Oh, I take it you and the good doctor hooked up. <laughs> Did we ever. A little romance in the air, huh? Mm-hmm. It was beautiful. The way you're talking, sounds like you two went all the way. <laughs> Would that surprise you? No way, that stuff sure jumped in your bed. Oh, you are so wrong. Huh? What got into this guy? Scotch. And a lot of it. He, he woke up in my bed this morning, didn't even know where he was. He couldn't remember a thing. Dr. Freud blacked out? Uh-huh, he sure did. So how far did this thing go? Are we talking a home run here? I don't kiss and tell. Hey, maybe not to James. He's your shrink. He, he dropped you like a hot potato, but come on. You got to tell me. I mean, you guys go all the way or what? OK, it's not important. I mean, sex or no sex, James and I really connected last night. Sheila, you really think Dr. Shrink cares about you? I know he does. Michael, it's happening. Uh, James and I were, were finally coming together, and, and it's with no manipulation on my part. But James, he's, he's absolutely right. If you're a good person, good things happen to you. I've turned a corner here. I, I am a changed woman, and with James by my side, I can do no wrong. I'm glad I could help. What is that supposed to mean? Nothing. Listen, I, I gotta run. Congratulations, Sheila. You deserve to be happy. Are we going to begin the meeting, Brooke? I'm waiting for Ridge. You most certainly are. Finally. What's this all about? If you take a seat, I'll tell you. <clears throat> First of all, I would like to congratulate everybody on the success of the fashion shows. Well, the forces pull together. That's why we're always on top. Yes, we are. The numbers are good. Mm-hmm, I know. They're excellent. Record orders. Much of the success can be attributed to the men's line. And that brings me to the next reason why I brought you here. There's going to be a lot of changes in Forrester Creations. What kind of changes, Brooke? Well, as you know, Grant will continue to head up the men's line. Your fiancé, you mean? Do you have a problem with that? As long as he stays the hell away from me. I don't think that will be possible. Effective immediately, Grant will begin working on the women's couture, as well as heading up the what? men's line. This means we will have the best design team in the industry. That is why you brought Grant here in the first place, isn't no it? No way, Brooke. This game of yours has gone too far. I assure you, Rich, this is no game. We all know exactly what you're doing. It isn't going to work. What I'm doing is making decisions in the best interest of this company. Grant and I working together? It'll never happen, Brooke. No way in hell. Whoa. Sorry I'm late. Perfect timing. Hey. Mm. I just finished telling everybody that you're going to begin working on the woman's couture. Well, that's great. Mm -hmm. So how do you feel about that, Ridge? How do you think he feels about it? Whoa, 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 wait a second. People, please, let's just keep our heads, OK? Grant is back. So let's just wipe the slate clean and, and move on, OK? Brooke, you can play this game all you like. Just don't expect any of us to want to be a part of it. You stole the company, so I guess I shouldn't be surprised that you're in here flaunting all of this. And I'm not the least bit surprised, Grant, that you're part of it. 
You two belong together. Now, if you'll excuse us, we have some family business to take care of. Thank you. And you won't regret this. <laughs>